All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Proxify here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Legend of Arceus Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, basically what has happened here, guys, is, is that we actually went into a, a brand new place known as, if we actually go and check on our map here, we went to a place known as the Obsidian Fieldlands, and we actually went and explored a few different destinations over here. We went to, I believe, the Aspiration Hill, and we also went and over to the Horseshoe Plains as well, too, kind of get a look uh, for what it has been going on here with in this big huge massive uh, overworld for this part of the uh, section of this part of the game here and uh, we were actually catching out on some new Pokemon left and right and uh, we were trying to kind of go and build up on whatever our team is going to be now if we actually go and check out on our uh, items that are going to be here and let me just go to my bag for a second we can actually go and check out on all of our uh, Pokemon that is actually going to be here so uh, yeah if you guys uh, do recall we actually did catch ourselves out a Weasel during the last episode we also do have a Wurmple of course because we do need to go back to the Jubilee Village. I'm not going to be using Whirlpool, of course, on the team, so you're not going to be seeing him on the layout, but Bleasel, of course, is going to be a part of our team because we do need a water type, and same with Eevee. Now, also as well, too, guys, I think uh, for the time being that I'm going to be playing here uh, within this game of uh, of Legend of Arceus, I'm going to try and make sure that most of our time that we actually spend here within this game is going to be all at night, because if I'm not mistaken, I do really want to get myself a Umbreon for our team, and I think that would be really cool to actually have uh, that type of Pokemon to kind of go and help us out for a little bit and uh, hopefully that is uh, going to be the, the right type of choice of our Eevee that we're going to be going for. I was going to be going for maybe like a Glaceon or something uh, or something else a little bit different but I think Umbreon I think should basically uh, do us some justice I think since we don't really have a dark type Pokemon yet uh, within our team so I think that would be uh, quite helpful indeed. Uh, but yeah so I don't think, oh yeah also too I did do some off record grinding as well so if you guys can go and probably tell uh, we we already have like AV now at level 9, Shadow at level 8, Weasel now at level 6, and I believe Eevee's now from, I think, from level 3 that we caught all the way up to like level 6 now. So I'm trying to boost up my Pokemon as best as I can. Um, I think there are some new moves as well from Avian. So if we actually go and uh, basically check out the summary and see what we got. We got like Aerial Ace, which that was a brand new move. Um, but that seems like that was literally about it. I don't know if Thunderstruck was actually a new move as well too, but... Uh, I think we're basically okay. I don't think there wasn't really anything else. Oh, uh, we also did get Quick Attack on Eevee, and I think that was literally about it there. But anyways, oh, and also too, uh, I also did go and catch ourselves our first nighttime type of Pokemon uh, within the Obsidian Fieldlands. So if we want to go and check out our Pokemon here, we actually do have Gumball, of course, our Drifloon, uh, which we can actually go and add to the team. Now, I think I am going to add Gumball to our team and actually go and switch around with Wurmple uh, right on after when we're done with the little side quest mission. And I think that's going to be a really big help because I do would like to have a... Uh, a, a ghost type type of Pokemon on our team as well and I think Drifloon would work out uh, uh, well pretty good uh, so far because unfortunately we have never seen any type of Gastly's or a Mistrevious anywhere of the sort around here but so it seems like a good time to explain to you about your survey reports and rewards that they offer all right so when you submit a survey report you will see money based on the level of numbers that you Pokemon they've caught you'll see more money if you fulfill certain conditions as catching a species for the first time ah oh, well that's very interesting well I think if I remember off recording, I have been getting some uh, different completions here and there uh, within my reports, so I think I should be able to get some pretty good stuff here. So on that note, let me go and check the research test that you completed thus far. All right, well, let's see. All right, let's go and check it out. So we got ourselves total Pokemon caught that have been eight. Different Pokemon species have been caught was also eight. Uh, Pokemon caught for the first time has been eight as well too. And Pokemon using a backstrike was actually for two. Well, I know that we've been kind of being a little bit more sneaky uh, throughout our time of catching out uh, on some Pokemon. So, wow, we actually got ourselves almost about like 2,000 Poke Dollars. That's actually a pretty nice good cash right there, I do have to say. And we haven't even used any of our money yet at all so far. So I'm very happy about that. So, hmm. So I see. So most uh, illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. All right, so by carrying out research tests and many survey reports, you'll raise the research level of the Pokemon and the species that you encountered. If you raise the Pokemon entries to level 10, that entry will be considered complete. Okay, interesting enough. So, so if I have Cyndaquil here, we could actually go and check out on the research task for Cyndaquil. So, number of caught, we already did for one. Uh, times that you used Ember, yeah, we used it about like quite a bit of times so far. So, we, I think we used it all the way up to 10. Uh, times that you've seen with, uh, that you've seen with, uh, seen it with use Quick Attack. Well, we don't really have Flame Mule yet, so we kind of have to wait a little bit longer. I think we have to wait until we actually become a Kalava for that. Uh, times they used a strong, uh, strong style move. I don't think we used any type of strong style or agile style move yet. So I don't know if we have ever been taught about those type of things yet, but at least it's something. 
Nice. So uh, I guess we got ourselves that completed. All right. Not too shabby. Okay. So you made some good progress on, the, on those research tasks, bro. So I do believe that you are ready to move up in the ranks. So let's go ahead and head back to the village and report to the good news to Captain Selene. It's time that you earn yourself a star. Hooray. We got ourselves a star. Just like in SpongeBob. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be learning how to drive, but at least we were learning how to catch around on Pokemon and how to do some reports and whatnot for this game, so pretty happy about that. Okay, well, back to Team Galaxy Base we go. I wonder if Bagan has anything interesting for us, because I do need to go and boost up on my inventory if that is going to be a thing at some point. And I know it will be happening soon, because he is going to be like the Tom Nook of this entire game, so let's see what's going on with this time around here. Uh, he's on the third floor. Okay, well, fine then. Well, we'll go and talk about it over to Celine. Now, also as well, too, uh, you guys are going to be interested on our next uh, type of video that is going to be happening right on after this. Uh, so we can actually go into our Pokedex here, and uh, let's go and check it on Starly. Okay, not bad. All right, well, I think we're basically done with that, right? Uh, so you made some good progress this far, so it seems that you have earned yourself a star. Yes. All right, well, thank you. All right. Well, yes. Yeah, so uh, basically, the next video that you guys will be actually be seeing is that we are going to be doing some new Super Mario Bros. Uh, Wii co-op once again, and we got ourselves our first star. So very cool. Uh, and we are going to be uh, going to be going and continuing throughout. Oh, nice. We also got ourselves heavy balls as well too. Um, but uh, anyways, we are going to be going and continue throughout six uh, or, or well, uh, world six, I should say, and uh, going through literally half of that part of that game there, uh, well within that area. Uh, but also too, uh, again, uh, just stay tuned for the next one of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii co-op because we are going to be going to continue with, uh, well, basically continuing with the other half of World 6 and we'll try and go and complete that off for you guys so that we can actually try and complete off as everything as, as basically as possible so that we can actually go and move into our next series with me and Kevin going to be doing some uh, Mario 3D World together so that would be really fun and I can't wait for that. Now I do want to kind of actually have four people for it because I think it would be a lot more uh, fun if we actually had like four people for 3D World instead of just having two so I'm I'm going to try and ask a few of my friends if they want to come and join along for the video and kind of hang out and uh, have some fun together uh, playing out some uh, some Mario 3D World. But there we go. Got ourselves that all completed and ready to go. So for today, at least that you earn yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good nice rest. All right. Well, thank you, Captain Selene. Wow. So all that hard work really did pay off. Get a nice good feast. It's kind of like a survivor. Uh, so I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. So well done earning your first star rank. So uh, potato mochi uh, tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Uh, still, but we'll be very busy from now on between our survey course duty and requests from folks here. So which reminds me, have you already taken on a request uh, from Beauregard? Uh, Beauregard, I think so. Yes, yeah, so people at Jubilee aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if the problems arise, the survey course get called to help. So indeed so. So some people will ask you for help when you go and talk with them while other requests will be needed. Need to be, so claim for the blackboard I keep in my lab. So speaking of which, uh, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What was it all about? Uh, about that, I was thinking maybe Prox could go and handle it for me. Uh, I was told that it required a bit more skill with battling Pokemon, so... Hmm. Uh, yeah, so that request uh, came from Matt, uh, Mai of the uh, Diamond Clan, I recall correctly. People of the Diamond Clan have lived uh, in there in Hisui uh, since before the Galaxy team arrived. Now, I think we may probably be meeting up with uh, Adamin, right? Because I think he's a part of the Diamond Clan, isn't he? Because I think the girl that is on the on the Pearl Clan or whatever, uh, we're not going to be seeing her, I think, not for quite a while. So I think we may probably be seeing Adamin, one of my favorite characters here within uh, Lich of Arceus. So pretty cool. So that'd be interesting to see about all that that's going to be going on. Uh, so listen, do, uh, do you have a bit more time after this? Or is there something I could go and use your help with? All right, well, what's it all about? So thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. So if you caught a lot of Pokemon, then you may want to go and visit the pastures to change up on your team. Hmm. Well, I did do a little bit of off-record grinding, so hopefully your Pokemon are not going to be too crazy. Well, not too leveled up compared to mine. <laughs> All right, now, wasn't there someone that I needed to go and talk to that needed to see some sort of Wurmple around here? Um, let me see. So, a special parcel has arrived with your name on it. What? A special parcel? What is this all about? So, we got ourselves a modern jacket and a pair of modern trousers and some modern shoes. Interesting. So, what a precious gift. All right, so please go take care of such a fine attire. Well, that's really cool. All right, we got some free new clothes. So, not bad. Uh, let me go and check out my... Uh, is there like a thing where I could just go and check out like the different objectives or anything that I can go and see here? I think I, I think it has to be up in the map, right? Or something around here. Missions and requests. Yes. 
All right, uh, so we got ourselves request, I think, right? Uh, Whirlpool Kid Evolve. All right, and I do would like to go and check out with that there. So can I go and mark that on my map here for a quick second? Ah, so this must be this guy here. So are you the one with the Whirlpool that I need to go and basically talk to you about? Let me just go and see here. Uh, so you got a Whirlpool that you can give me? Yes, I do. I have it right here. Here, go and take this Whirlpool. Uh, are you sure well, you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes. Uh, I don't need Whirlpool. So you really brought me one. So you must be good as the rumors say. Well, I like to name this Whirlpool right away. So now that I've been told the Whirlpool will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beefly, so I should go and give it a name with that in mind. Well, you also can evolve it into a Dust Dustoss if you want, but it's just a random chance of how you're going to be able to get it, though. So it's a tough decision. Hmm. Well, which one of you uh, do you uh, like best? Uh, uh, Butisha, uh, uh, Buddha Free, uh, uh, or, uh, Bo or Bojean? Uh, I don't really know. I guess we'll just name it Botisha, I guess. <laughs> yes, your new name will be Botisha there, Whirlpool. Uh, yeah, I like uh, Botisha too. I guess that is decided then. I'll raise Botisha as a splendid, furless uh, beauty fly and uh, wait and see. All right. Well, you go and have fun with that Whirlpool there, man. Because now I got myself a free slot on the team now. Awesome. Uh, now, uh, with all that being said, I think... Yeah, so we have to go and head all the way up there, but I just want to go and pick up all my drift balloon here, and then we could be able to uh, kind of go and do our thing. Oh, and also too, uh, which I almost totally forgot as well, uh, I actually do have some nicknames already on my Pokemon, uh, but also as well too, uh, I don't really have any nicknames uh, for Weasel or Eevee, uh, so you guys can go and let me know in the comments down below uh, for this episode for today is uh, which, uh, well, what type of names do you guys want me to go and uh, basically have uh, for these two Pokemon. Now, I do want to go and make sure that I get myself an Eevee and an Umbreon, so uh, let me know in the comments on what type of uh, uh, well, what type of names do you guys want me to go and name uh, Umbreon uh, when I actually go and try to uh, hopefully get that evolution at some point. And also, too, uh, with Weasel as well. Uh, you guys can let me know. But Gumball, I will be actually going to be naming that, of course, as for my Drifloon, because uh, I already have uh, that Pokemon before already within my Nuzlocke stuff from the last time. Uh, but I guess I don't think we could be able to go and do that, unfortunately, right away. Uh, Huey is positive with Drift Boom, blah, blah, okay. Item storage, oh, okay, so that's an item storage box to actually go and put some things away. If we do kind of run out on stuff, but unfortunately, uh, that's not going to be the case. So, it doesn't seem like I can actually go and add in, uh, my Pokemon, uh, well, right now at the moment. Unless if there was, like, some sort of, like, uh... Like, I don't know if there would be, like, some sort of thing, like, within, like, the menu or something that I could be able to just go and hop right into the pasture and just kind of, like, move some Pokemon around. But I don't think we could actually be able to go and do that right away. But I guess we'll go and worry about this. So let's go and head to the training grounds then. So thanks for coming. I know they are busy. All right. So are we going to do another battle here then? I don't mind. Listen, I had a uh, empathy. Uh, or, 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 well, I had an epiphany. Uh, sorry. Uh, and, and that is, uh, what is it all about? Uh, so you see that I got a partner on my own, and we may not get along perfectly, but we got to work together to help to complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Huh. Yes, here. This is my partner, Pikachu. Oh, it's Pikachu. Well, that's awesome. So we were attacked by those shakes. I got too scared to think straight, but I couldn't handle uh, bowing as a team. But ever since my partners refused to listen to anything I tell them, and that kind of brings back a little bit of like the beginning type of episode uh, within the Pokemon anime when Ash got himself Pikachu and he had a hard time trying to try to trade that Pikachu and it kept on electroshocking him every time. So if I'm being honest, I, I'm not even sure uh, how to even order him or how to guide him in battle. Well, I don't think it's too hard. Uh, but when I saw you, how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized that we needed to do some more, too. So please, have a battle with me, and I want to learn how to fight efficiently. Alright, sure. Well, I don't mind. I'm ready for it. Alright, so let's do it. It's Akari versus, uh, versus us here. So, I don't know if Akari is going to be, like, our rival, I guess, for this game, I guess. If that's what is going to be the case here. Because I don't know if rivals are literally a thing here within the Hisui part of, uh, in this time. Ooh, got ourselves Thunder Wave already. Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, well, let's just go for an ember. Let's see how much I can do here. Oh, yeah, there you go. We already got ourselves a bird already. Let's do this. Ouch. Well, that's going to hurt a little bit. Well, you know what? I'm fine with it. Hopefully, we can take another uh, ember here. No, we're paralyzed. Oh, no, you actually got yourself strong style already. Ow, that's going to hurt a lot. Oof. Wow. Okay, well, at least I'm not doing a Nuzlocke here. Or else that would be very bad. 
I wouldn't even know how you even do a strong style move. How the heck do you do something like that? Huh. I may probably have to do a little bit of some more research on how to do it. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. Let's go for an aerial ace. Let's see if I can uh, go for that. Oh, there we go. And you are done, Pikachu. Trying to knock out my cynical. That's not cool. Uh, so I guess that LNR, I guess that means if I could do it in strong style or whatnot. Huh. Maybe that was what it was all about. No. Everyone gets a level up except for my cynical. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Akari. That's a few. Well, thank you for battling us. So I could be wrong for a moment, but I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. All right. Well, let's go ahead and keep on working at it. Okay, Pikachu? Huh. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I was wrong then. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like Pikachu just basically turned away from her. See what Pikachu and I, I can bridge uh, some gaps. Well, oh, by the way, uh, Professor said that Pokemon have a thing called types, which are apparently makes uh, a big difference with how the battle goes. So, it seems like Pikachu can be electric type, for example. Yes, and I know that that Slender Shark would have probably knocked out uh, my Starly there, but everything's all good. Well, who's her? So, her name is uh, Zizu. Or, so, my name is Zizu, uh, Captain of the Security Corps. Interesting. So I see that you got some fight in you. I figured that I'd stop by and give you some advice that I could. So Captain Zizu is the master of the ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Interesting. So now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, you can actually use them in different styles. Well, finally, now we can be able to go and use that. So on the one hand, you can go and choose to deliver a move in strong style. It, uh, the move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. Oh, okay. And on the other hand, you can also choose to unleash a move in agile style. Such as a move that will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get uh, out of out two moves uh, before the opponent can act. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So I think Agile Style may probably the one that I may probably want to go for a little bit more. Strong Style moves and Agile Style moves, and of course regular moves. Choose which is right uh, for your given situation and direct of a Pokemon uh, with a uh, with a little nudge. All right. Anytime, whenever I hear anything about like, uh, like, 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 uh, like, like style of, of whatever type of the move that goes on here, sounds like uh, One Piece with like Zoro. It, it, it's like you have like uh, the different sword styles. <laughs> That's what I literally always keep on thinking about. Like every time whenever I hear anything about like strong style or agile style. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I think that seems like that is literally about it. Wow, we're literally within like 17 minutes into this video already, and we're already like almost about to be almost finished with this whole entire game. But uh, let us go and uh, basically head back out uh, over to the Feelands camp because I do need to go and add Gumball to the team, and I also do need to go and nickname it uh, while we're doing that here. Uh, I don't. I think we're basically already went and finished with all the different uh, missions that we already have, right? I think. With all the request boards that we already went and done. Uh, we got ourselves an adorable Starly. Right. So show Starly to Marley. Okay. So I guess we got ourselves one more thing to go and do here. Oh, I didn't really go and uh, show this off to her. Oh, please don't tell me that I have to go and like give away my Pokemon. Oh, right. Okay. The Starly and the Pokedex. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't think I have that, right? So, unfortunately, uh, that needs to get off of my, uh, off of this. Yes. So, thank you. I'm going to take that away. And then we don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, so let's go and jump as fast as we can. <laughs> you know what? I think something tells me I think that's going to be like the new type of way of how I'm going to like try and make things go a little bit faster. It's just by kind of like just prone jumping. Or, well, I, well, I don't think that's what it's called, but we're just going to just kind of just keep on jumping all the way towards our next uh, destination here. But what's going on now? So, Boo, Volvo, what the heck? What are you doing here? So did I surprise you, I bet? Uh, I was trying to, uh, anyways. So there's a secret technique catching Pokemon, you see. Uh, there is. So what it's called, the secret uh, backstrike technique. Hitting the Pokemon from the back while your Pokemon will surprise it, making it easier for uh, to catch it or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Well, I th we've already been kind of doing that so far, right? If you've been a part of the survey course now, working to create Pokedex that they all, uh, well, as they all are, you might be end up uh, meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. Uh, so you should know that I'm already looking forward for the day that you accomplish that. Well, we have been getting ourselves a pretty nice good decent start so far. And, oh, this seems like another guy with another little side quest thing that is going on. What's going on, dude? So you're uh, that boy for the survey quest who fell from the sky, aren't you? Uh, listen to here for a moment. I need you to tell about the great uh, cake or recipe that I invented. It's called a mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging on how it's coming up. And I just know it's a winner. But the problem is the folks around here aren't catching it uh, on my, my recipe's amazing potential. But... 
You're the talk of the village, and I see that people are making the mushroom cakes as famous as you are, so I'm sure that they'll give it to you a go. So I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is return to spread the good word by using it. And oh, and you'll need to uh, get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrooge not from the forge of my fo fellows. As the old saying goes, uh, one spring mushroom is all they need, and I'll be waiting. Uh, so I guess we need to find a some sort of special mushroom, I guess? Okay, so give uh, more out. I don't know your question. Springy mushroom. Well, I don't think we've ever really seen any of that yet. I don't think so. I could be wrong. Um, but where is the... Uh, ah, there's the camp. That's exactly where I need to go. All right. Do not want to forget about that. All right. Let me go and see my Pokemon here. And yes, let, let's of course go and move on you over here to, like that. Now we got ourselves a full team. That is so awesome. And let us go and change out the name as well too. And let's go and name you Gumball, of course. All right. And we are almost done. Yep, we are good. All right, awesome. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll, uh, well, basically, uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, basically, uh, once these two videos are done, uh, for tomorrow's uh, videos, you guys will be going out and seeing that there is going to be another Color Splash video coming out your guys' way, so hope you guys do go and check out on that, and also, too, with another Legend of RCS video as well, too, in the process. Now, uh, please don't forget to uh, uh, go and comment down below on what type of nickname that you guys want me to have uh, for the Umbreon that I'm going to be getting, and also uh, for Weasel, and uh, I'll see you guys then, and peace.